All right, folks, if you just clicked on that fabulous thumbnail, you know what to expect. That is another news flash. Let's kick things off with an update around metrics, members, and YouTube analytics. When creators come to us and talk to us about memberships, what they typically ask is, how do my memberships evolve over time? Which of my videos helped me win or lose more members than usual? And the third is, does it help if I remind my audience to become paying members? So in order to facilitate answers to those questions, what we've done is created a members tab within the audience page in YouTube Analytics. And what that section of YouTube Analytics is going to show you is the total as well as active number of members. It'll show you that total, it'll show it cumulatively or as daily changes. Additional deep dive metrics are available to help you track daily changes to total active, gained, lost and cancelling members. Any feedback, stick it in the comments below. For our next update, let's stick with analytics. What we've done is added two cards that were previously only available on desktop to mobile. Those are other channels your audience watches and other videos your audience watches. These two cards have been added to the bottom of the audience tab on mobile. Tapping on one of these cards is gonna bring you to a detailed view of up to 15 videos and channels. Tapping on any one of those 15 videos is gonna bring you to that video on the YouTube main app. Next up, another update about analytics. This one is direct and to the point. What we're doing is launching an update on the video overview in analytics on desktop so that the video performance explanation is more visible. Check it out. Next up, more good news for those who dig into analytics. What we're doing is adding another insight relative to revenue changes. And what we mean by this is if revenue is going up or down because of the fact that the audience has shifted to a higher or lower CPM country, we're calling this out. This is an insight that is going to be available on mobile as well as desktop. Now, on to post engagement metrics, those which Omar has detailed on the channel before. The good news is they're now live. Now, a card on the channel's engagement tab shows you votes and likes on the creator's top posts over the last 28 days. And yes, this card can be filtered by post type. You thought that we were done with just that? Well, a deep dive report shows daily post metrics, including, you guessed it, impressions, likes, like rate, votes, vote rate. You have got to check this feature out. Let us know if you've any feedback. Now, we get to my favorite part of each one of these news flashes, and that is your questions. Last week, we posted another episode in a series that we've been doing around the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. There is one question that I wanted to call out, and that is, what does YouTube consider a modified gut? Well, modified means a ton of different things. The best way to understand what we mean by modified is altering the core function of the weapon. So this usually involves disassembling and reassembling the gun, but more concrete examples would be altering the trigger, trigger mechanism or attaching or replacing one functioning component of the weapon with another. Now, if I'm you, I'm sitting there and thinking, that's very broad. And what we're doing to tackle that and to make sure that we're providing much more granular guidance is harvesting all of those insights that we're getting via the comments about where guidance is too broad or confusing and making an update to the firearms related content section of the advertiser friendly content guidelines before the end of the year. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, I've been Connor. Have a nice week.